Each fortnight, employees in the formal sector that earn more than 12,500 kina annually pay income tax. With the issue of income tax rates being a hot topic since the beginning of 2019, common questions raised time and time again. Where does the money go and what services are we paying for? Institute of National Affairs Executive Director Paul Barker says while PNG tax standards are fairly low compared to world standards, the pertinent question is what services taxpayers receive in return. Different rates of tax around the world. Some countries have pretty high top marginal rates, including some of the countries that developed countries that, that have higher, better welfare systems. Of course, Papua New Guinea doesn't have a welfare system, so you're paying a high tax, but you're not actually getting a pension at the end of the day, and you're not getting um, uh, unemployment benefit if you lose your job, and you're not getting um, much in the way of social services. But we, you, you are getting uh, supposedly free education here, although, as we know, it's only partial free education because uh, the money isn't there to pay for a whole. Free. And there is what's called free health, but as we know, it's not really free, and it's uh, and you know often they don't have the drugs and and other goods. But anyway, it, ostensibly there's meant to be a, a health service and an education service, which are obviously paid, and the roads, maintaining roads and and uh, building roads is funded by the government, as we know, not to a very high standard unless one's lucky enough to be in Port Moresby. But um, but by and large, those services are not very good. Those public goods and services are not very good, but. The major part of funding them is actually coming out of people's personal income tax. The government also rakes in the big bucks in goods and service tax, or GST. Baker says from 2019 budget, the government has played it safe and kept the rate of GST at 10%. Increase the GST level, so it's still at 10%. So uh, that, was, that was welcome, I suppose. Uh, and it was presumably because the government felt that they could get tax revenue from other sources. Enforcing taxes in the informal sector has been a difficult task for the government over the years. However, this year the Internal Revenue Commission is confident it will slowly improve the tax enforcement within the informal sector. We've been able to, do, to, uh, to bring our services closer to the people. Eh? So we've gone to the islands region, we've gone to uh, Momase and now we're up in the islands. According to Mr. Barker, the government does need to broaden its tax base. He is of the view that an area that needs to be looked at are the arrangements of tax-free holidays, which has seen the country miss out on significant revenue over the years. But he agrees that employees within the formal employment who pay tax need to have the tax burdens eased. It's nice to be able to reduce um, the, the higher end, but that does require broadening the, the numbers who are actually paying and it also obviously requires the state to collect more from um, from businesses but some businesses are paying a, a lot at the moment others are not paying their fair share the resource sector that's a big issue as i say the resource sector was paying almost nothing a couple of years ago in tax they were paying something in dividends but they were not really paying anything in tax and that's coming and they used to pay a lot more it's partly because of the agreements that have been um, negotiated in the last few years, which have allowed some companies to actually have uh, substantial tax holidays, like 